Ecotec, Costa Rica. Ecotec is a Costa Rican company established in 1984. Since then, our goal has been to provide developers with optimal and viable options for project development within Costa Rica's legal and regulatory framework. Ecotech's objective is to provide scientifically sound and timely answers for development proposals. We have undertaken and successfully completed over 80 environmental studies in Costa Rica, Central America and South America. Ecotech's main activities as a private company are related to project development with the private sector. Environmental studies in a wide variety of aspects have been presented and approved over the past decade. Most recently, Ecotech has increased its lobbying capacity in order to aid investors in the best ways of acquiring permits for project development in Costa Rica. Due diligence we now offer a new service to investors, an environmental due diligence which indicates the real possibilities for land use or development before the property is acquired. Some of our clients are, in the private sector, Grupo Roble, Inmobiliaria Genesis, The Capital Group, Rio Hotels and Resorts, Tra Vista Development Companies, Las Catalinas Development, Novita Capital, NCC Lawyers, Arias y Munoz, Bruno Stanio Architects, Credomatic, Sardimar, Marina Moin and Resort. Multilateral and bilateral clients, Inter-American Development Bank, World Bank, Pan American Health Organization, Japan International Cooperation Agency. In the governmental sector, Cañas Municipality, Liberia Municipality, Guasimo Municipality, Costa Rican Institute for Water and Sewer, Rural Electrification Office, Panama, Ministry of Public Works, Costa Rica. Our services. Ecotech has developed several land use plans, both urban and coastal, in Costa Rica, the Caribbean, Central and South America. A great deal of experience has been accumulated in contracts with the Costa Rican public sector and thus in facilitating the red tape needed for project development. Some of the services we offer our clients are Environmental Impact Studies, Land and Marine, Land Use Capacity, Water Quality, Coastal Zone Evaluation Ecological Restoration D1 and D2, Presentation to Setena and follow-up studies. Biota inventories. Studies on the distribution and abundance of flora and fauna. Environmental economics. Economic evaluation of natural resources. Forest evaluation and reforestation studies. Species identification. Available biomass. Forest density. Exploitation potential restoration practices, commercial use, management plans for protected areas, evaluation of natural resources, socioeconomic aspects, legal background, zoning, management practices, hydrological studies, evaluation of potentials, quality and availability of aquifers, management and conservation of recharge areas, sanitation engineering, wastewater treatment plans, sewer systems, effluent location. Some samples of our company's experience. Restoration of the marine ecological diversity with artificial habitats. Nacascolito, Guanacaste, 1991 to 1993. Environmental impact study for a sanitary pipeline project at Capo City. Geotecnia, Costa Rica, 1998. Aquilutos y Alcantarillados. Sewer Pipeline Studies in the Metropolitan Area, 2001. Pan American Health Organization and ICA, 2003. CIAPAC. Powerline at Honduras, Inter-American Development Bank, 2004. Inmobiliaria Genesis, Costa Rica, 2005. 
Electric Subtransmission Line, Intibuca, Honduras, 2005. Acoyapa, San Carlos, border with Costa Rican Road for IDB and the Nicaraguan government, 2006. Rural Electrification Project, Republic of Panama, IDB, 2006. Siapic, High Tension Electric Transmission Line, Nicaragua, IDB, 2007. Proactive Conservation and Management. Conservation, Management, Reforestation. Fifteen years ago, Ecotech began with the acquisition of land for the protection of the tropical forest. A modest house with local wood was built. Today, an eco lodge named Casa Vieja, which means old house, exists where field work for tropical ecology courses take place. Approximately 100 hectares of tropical rainforests are protected. A reforestation project is now underway, where close to 50 hectares will be reforested for commercial purposes with the aim to develop a sustainable wood extraction and processing project with the added social and economic benefits for the nearby communities. Students from the U.S. as well as volunteers participate in conservation activities.